I am here at the Riviera with Rhino and Erica. We are doing a quick service review of Primo Piatta, Piatto. Primo Piatto, I think. It could be Piatta. I think it's Piatto. And a reminder that all of these videos are brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. You will get a great travel agent, travel advocate as I call it. You don't have to wait on hold and you don't pay any more than if you went through directly either for a Disney vacation or a Disney cruise. So get with dreamsunlimitedtravel.com for your next vacation. That is how we pay for all this. If you like our content, please support us. Dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Thank you. Hello friends, so today I got the grilled vegetable skewer. It was $12.99 and it actually brings a lot of food. So it comes with a bunch of vegetables that are nicely marinated, it tastes really good. And there's a cucumber coconut yogurt, it's all plant based though, and that was actually really good. I get a little weirded out with um, cucumber coconut kind of thing, but it was actually really good. And then it also comes with a quinoa salad and that was nice and it comes on this pita bread and I was very happy with what I got because not only did it taste really really great but it was very filling at first I thought I was gonna get a few little vegetables didn't expect to get pita until I saw that written on the menu um, and I was very surprised at how good this was I've only ever been here one other time and I had a good time but this was before all of my allergies came to life and so now that I found something that's plant-based here no dairy that I can eat I'm happy and I'm very happy with what I got I would you know rate my meal here like a 9 out of 10 very good tasted some fries too the fries fantastic seasoned very nice I love a good salty fry they were nice and crispy and thin I like those a lot but yeah my meal was really great so happy now I'm full so I'm even happier <laughs> I went with the grilled chicken sandwich, and that is a balsamic marinated grilled chicken with a sun-dried tomato relish, spinach and artichoke spread, and a mozzarella on toasted focaccia served with a choice of side, which I went with the uh, side salad, and that was crispy greens, tomato, carrot, and radish with champagne vinaigrette. The side salad was actually pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, it was very fresh. Everything in it was really good. There was a nice bit of, I was, you know, sometimes you go with the side salad and you're worried it comes in a tiny cup. I thought there was a pretty good portion of that. Um, and the sandwich itself was pretty solid, I think, too. It was $11.99, or excuse me, uh, yeah, $11.99. Um, it come, the focaccia bread I thought was pretty good. It was a, the first bite I was worried because it felt like the, the, the top part of it was a little tough, but it actually was like a pretty decently, like the bottom slice was really soft and good. So like went right in the middle there. Um, so it was, it was, it was pretty decent, I would say. Um, we also got a margarita pizza. That was $11.99. This was a fresh artisan half baked pizza topped with tomato sauce, heirloom tomatoes, and fresh mozzarella finished with a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and fresh cut basil. I think the extra virgin olive oil kind of get lost in this, to be honest with you, because I didn't even notice it when I opened this up. Um, I feel like the crust on the pizza is pretty decent. It's nice, um, but overall the margarita, I feel like, was a little wet for my taste, a little wet. I think maybe it was the, it was it, it had a lot of sauce and I think the tomatoes were, like, as it sat, it got very watery. And um, I'm not, for me, that's not how I like my pizza, so. Uh, but all in all, it was, uh, it was pretty unoffensive. I also did try some of the french fries and I will say they're pretty solid. They reminded me of McDonald's fries, but a lot more like firm. Um, but I, I will say like in terms of like a Disney fry, they were actually very good. So surprisingly, so yeah. I got the cheddar burger, which was $11.99. I also got a side of the tomato basil soup. I don't see it here for the price. I'm sure if I keep scrolling, I'll find it. I like the tomato basil soup. I think it's the same tomato basil soup that's on Disney property, like uh, over at Pinocchio Village House, because I like that one too, and from the plaza. 
Uh, I'm sorry, the bacon cheddar burger is what I got. You know, as far as burgers go, it's okay. Nothing great. I think it's the accoutrements on the burger that make it good. It's got a garlic aioli. It's got cheddar. It's got bacon. I don't know what the burger itself actually tastes like because I tasted all the other stuff that took over. So if you want a burger, yeah, it's great, but eh. The, uh, the fries are really good. Like I said, the soup is my favorite. comes with croutons. The pizza, I agree with Rhino saying it's wet. And I think that comes from the, there's fresh sliced tomatoes on it, even more than sauce. Or I don't, oh, actually, I think there's sauce and fresh sliced tomatoes. But the freshly sliced tomatoes start to ooze, maybe? Mm. Uh, so if you like fresh tomatoes, you're going to love it. If you would rather just have sauce, I bet you could tell them, no fresh tomatoes, just give me sauce. Might even be better because it is good fresh ingredients. You taste, you can see the fresh basil, you can taste it. Um, yeah, I mean, I would come back again. I probably wouldn't get the burger. Maybe next time we do the grilled chicken. They're so, not heirloom tomatoes, that's why. They're supposed to be heirloom and they're like full-size tomatoes. They are definitely yeah. full-size tomatoes. They're yeah. not heirloom tomatoes. It, it says heirloom in the description. Maybe they ran out. Yeah. But yeah, it was, uh, you know. But I can see they tried. They tried really hard. And they're not like skimping on bad ingredients, but not the best. So uh, yeah, I would still come back here. 